And what fits in that? Nothing. Nothing fits in there? So what do you think about this? Frank? The, the back one? Yeah. This doesn't hold anything. Because it's so small. Okay, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to... I'm going to... Throw it. All right. Baby Six has plenty of interior seating space. The cabin space is overall really good. However, the distance between the start of the car and the windshield, basically the hood area, is not that long. Let's say a Model Y actually has slightly longer um, hood profile, which means they can have a bigger front. But if you look at what um, the EV6 has done, it's not even optimized the available space of the front. If you look at the European models, the rear wheel drive has about 52 liters of front space. However, on the US specs, we only have 20 liters and it's also 20 unusable liters. This is the original OEM EV front and maybe just a cable will fit and that's it so very suboptimal and the reason behind it is kia is ultra conservative in listening and following u.s regulations i believe there is some manufacturer liability if there is a front space there is some u.s regulation that dictate that the front space should have a latch just in case a child goes in there and closes itself with the hood. Well, is this very likely to happen? Totally not. This is like an older regulation that needs to get revamped. If you look at the size of the front, I don't see a child going in there. Or even this one, I don't see a child going in there. So I just feel like the US models have a totally suboptimal front um, and if you look at this front the good news is it's got some good insulation and it's got a light and everything it's really well made however it's totally not usable so I'm gonna throw this away I have installed a totally different front which actually increases the total cargo space by about 8%, which is really impressive. I went to um, Kia EV uh, Forum's uh, website where people who are EV6 owners talked about um, some improvements that they've made. I've noticed that some people there actually came up with a really cool idea to upgrade a front with a toolbox. And uh, that was about a 12 gallon toolbox. What I did was um, I kind of built on that and went to uh, Home Depot, Walmart, and uh, look at options. I had like five to uh, six boxes and tried it in the space to figure out what fit in this uh, space. So finally, I was able to find a 16 gallon storage trunk in uh, Home Depot that actually fit perfectly in this EV6. So that's what I used, and I'm going to show you how to uh, use it. One is to remove these two nuts, and step two is removing these, those four. these four. So I have to figure out where the box is going, and one here. Cool. This is how we're going to mount the box, the frunk. So there's so much space here that we can put in a big size frunk and we're going to mount it with some aluminum sticks. We're going to reuse this hole and this hole and this hole and um, screw it in. With this 16 gallon frunk, we have 
so much to store. So very important things, sand toys, EV portable charging kit. So all of this easily fit and I have space for more stuff. Let's say a sandwich or something like that where I don't want to carry it in the cabin. I can easily put it in the front. So I feel like the 16 gallon front is uh, extremely useful. I'm going to try to find the measurements of this front and just talk about that as well. So the width is 16 inches. The length is 23.7 inches and the length or the height actually is 13.5 inches. This is uh, a close up of um, the front space. If you look at this, it's a really nice fit. You have no problems anywhere. And you can see the amount of space in there 16 gallons of space. That's plenty. You see how the front is, um, is fastened? It's so overall very good. Robust and very useful space. Let me show you how this closes. One shot, that's good. It's really good. Actually, I've had three screws here one, two, and three. It's pretty good. Recently, we went for a 12-day trip across the U.S. And um, in this trip, we used the frunk because we used a lot of sand toys and, um, and the life jacket and whatnot along with the EV charger and a few more things that fit in there. So it was really good space and we had no problems. So whatever we wanted to fit in the car for the long road trip, it easily fit and I feel like with this frunk we have for regular non-camping activities I have plenty of space and I feel confident that um, the, I have the overall cargo uh, space.